Dieselgate, regulatory pressure slowing demand in Asia. There are lots of bumps in the road for the car industry right now, but who cares if you're driving one of these? The Bugatti Chiron is a dramatic mathematical statement. 1,500 brake horsepower plus 420 kilometers an hour equals a 2.4 million euros price tag, to put it simply. François Rudier of the French Car Manufacturers Committee. When there's a new Bugatti, you immediately see that there's still a market, an extreme one, the market for supercars, a mega luxury market, I could say. What of the other statements coming out of Geneva? For Rolls-Royce, it's youth, relatively speaking. The average age of its drivers dropping a decade from 55 to 45 years old in recent years. For Ford, launching a new flagship SUV, it is those three letters. European sales of all SUVs overtook those of conventional cars last year. For BMW, it's crossover of a different kind, between petrol and electric, says board member Ian Robertson. Hybridisation is going to be an important part on this journey towards a much lower CO2 environment. If we go to the regulations in Europe or the United States or China for that matter, when we go 2020, 2025, there has to be a lot more hybrid and zero emissions in the fleet to meet the targets that the industry is going to uh, be set. New environmental rules then will mean new challenges. Time, say analysts, for Europe's car makers to wake up and smell the diesel.